So my name is Dara Patterson, and this is my son, Joshua Patterson. And we're going to tell you a story about God healing his eyes. So back in June of this year, so this is 2021, um, Joshua had gotten his eye scratched in the beginning of the month. And it was on the side of his eye, and it wasn't in the line of his sight, of his vision. Um, so we took him in just to make sure that his eyes were okay. Um, and so at the ER, they were taking care of his eyes, and they said it was fine. It wasn't in his line of sight. And um, we had gone to the eye chart um, just to double check to make sure he was seeing okay. So we went by the eye chart, and he was looking at the letters. And he was having trouble reading just the big letters, like the biggest letter that there was. He was having trouble seeing it. And we knew that his eyes were getting a little bit worse. Um, this past year with COVID, we weren't able to go to the eye doctor like we would normally do once a year. So we did, didn't realize how bad it had gotten. So we realized we needed to go and get his eyes checked after that because he wasn't seen very well, even with his glasses, because he had glasses, but he still wasn't seen very well. So we went over to the um, to our eye doctor, probably about a week and a half later, and um, she was looking at his eyes, and she said, yeah, his eyes are pretty bad. So we got some glasses for it um, that we ordered, but they weren't going to be coming in for probably a couple weeks later. And in the meantime, he had camp, um, youth camp over at Heartland Conference and Retreat Center. Um, so he went to camp and we felt really bad that he didn't have his glasses in yet. Um, but we're like, sorry, Joshy, you haven't been using it this whole time. So you're just gonna have to make do until they come in. So he went to camp and uh, what happened? Well, when I went to camp, they had like it was a week that I was staying there, and, like, it was the last day, like, one of the missionaries there was, like, calling people to the altar and saying for us, like, if we wanted anything to be prayed for. So I went up, and I wanted my eyes to be prayed for. So at first, nobody really came and prayed for me. I just stood there for a little while. And then my camp leader, Matt, he um, came up to me and he said what I wanted to be healed and prayed for. And I said my eyes. And the, so the first time he prayed, um, nothing really happened. The second time he prayed that God would put spiritual eye drops in my eyes, that they'd be healed. So... After he was done praying, I could see and like God put spiritual eye drops in my eyes and I wasn't actually crying. So you said that you were crying, but it wasn't actually like you're crying. Your eyes were just dripping. Yep. So the next morning, his, his glasses actually came in the same day that, that God heals, healed his eyes, which was a Thursday. So they came in and we took it with us to camp. We didn't know anything about what happened to his eyes at that point. So it was a Friday morning, we went into there, um, went to the um, camp, and as soon as we saw Joshua, he goes, Mom, guess what? And I'm like, what? He goes, God healed my eyes. And, you know, you kind of have some hesitation, like, okay, well, all right, we'll, we'll try it and see, you know, just how much your eyes are healed or if you can see and everything. So um, I started testing him as far as what he could see like stop signs or and even some signs that weren't stop signs because normally, you know, you know what a stop sign looks like just by looking at it. So I was asking him some other signs and things like that and asking him what was this word and what was that word and he was saying it. He was all the way in the back of our van and um, the time clock on our van, he, he normally couldn't have seen that without, you know, glasses and even then it was questionable. So I asked him what time it was and he was able to read it right off and he knew exactly what it was. And so um, we gave him his glasses, his new glasses that had come in. And we said, well, why don't you just try these on and see what, you know, what happens? So he looks out of it and everything. And we said, you know, what's it look like? He goes, it was well, blurry. Like I couldn't really see out of them. It was too strong. Yeah. So he couldn't use them. So 
we were like, well, okay, well, let's get this, this tested again, just to, to see where your eyes are at. So we weren't able to go in right away. I think it was about a week or two afterwards that we were able to get a, a doctor appointment again at um, our eye, eye doctor. So we went inside of there and the, the receptionist is like, why are you here? And Weren't I, you just here before, like a, just a few weeks ago? And, and I said that God healed my eyes and they're like, well, okay, I guess we could check it out and stuff. They were kind of hesitant. So we go inside of there, and it was the same um, doctor who had seen us before. So she, she asked, well, what happened? And I let Joshi share just what happened to him and um, share the story. She said, okay, well, let's check out your eyes. And she checks out the eyes, and she said the maps are completely different. Like there's a map that we each have over our eyes. that it, it's, it's like a physical map that they can see that there's differences and things like that. And she said it was completely different than from before. And um, his eyes, his prescription was, it was negative four in one eye and negative 3.5 in the other eye. And so I asked her, well, what is the new prescription now? She said it's negative 0.25 in both eyes. And he, she said he doesn't need glasses. And so then um, we were pretty jazzed. And she was testing it out with, with the um, charts and things like that. And he was reading it just fine without anything. Um, and then we were asking her about it. And we're asking her, well, what do you think? And she didn't really want to commit to saying that it was God who healed his eyes. And um, so um, we're, we felt like that we were just supposed to pray for her. And that this is something that, that God's going to reveal to our eye doctor um, just who he is a little bit more through this. So um, we were talking about it afterwards, and um, one of the things that, that came up was just that this is testimony, and uh, that this is testimony that, that he can share of just what God has done. And we're really grateful, aren't we? You have no more glasses that you have to wear. That's our testimony of what God's done.